Bye, sweetie. Hello, friends. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, oh, I love that, Karen. Karen just said, uh, no, wait, Karen. Yeah, I said hit the like button on the way in. That is a great suggestion. Uh, let's just say that right off the bat. If you're here watching live or in person, live, live or the replay, uh, while you're here, just hit the thumbs up like button. That would be awesome. Oh my goodness, friends, hello. Doesn't it seem like it's been forever? I think it's been mm, about a month since we've done a What's New Wednesday. There's been a lot going on uh, with the four-year anniversary, the five-year anniversary, uh, getting all those orders shipped, la launching lots of new products. And then uh, last week, Wednesday through this Monday, I was up in Spokane, Washington, teaching at Three Craft Chicks uh, somewhere over the rainbow in-person retreat. Uh, and then starting tomorrow, which is Thursday the... Uh, Thursday the 11th of April uh, that event starts virtually and then in between they're designing lots of new project kits so it has been there's lots going on uh, welcome friends welcome if you are new welcome to you uh, my name is Lael Konkar and on Wednesdays if I'm not traveling and if I have new things to share we are here on my YouTube channel uh, for What's New Wednesday, where I uh, show you lots of new products and tonight project kits, new project kits that are available on my website at laylbymail.com. Uh, in the description box of the video, really easy link. It will take you one place. Well, there's a couple links, but the main one will take you to the What's New page on my website, and that is the easiest place to see what's new. So the website is laylbymail.com, and if you click the link in the description box of the video, that will take you to the What's New page, or if you just go to the website, there's a big navy bar right at the top that says click to see what's new. You click that, it takes you to what's new. So uh, hopefully very easy for you to find the things that I am sharing. So welcome. Uh, let me check the chat really quick. I can see there's some chat going on. Uh, hi, Terry. I know we have Karen, uh, Rainy, and Mimi, Wanda, Debbie, Elizabeth, Another Debbie at the Inspiration Station. Marilee, welcome. Welcome, welcome from Cindy, uh, Karen, Jacqueline, Mindy, another Mindy, Mindy, Cindy, Mindy, Cindy. Mindy, hi, Mindy. Uh, Mimi, <laughs> show Disney fan mails. Hi, Gabby. Gabby, it's been a while, yeah? Um, I don't know. I just, it feels like I haven't seen your name in a while. Welcome. Uh, Laura, Terry, hello, Terry. Jane, I know, long time no see, Gabby. Hi, Marie. Um, Gabby, where have you been? I know, Gabby, where have you been? Kathy said hello and hello, Lael and ladies from beautiful Phoenix. Wanda said it has been forever. It feels like it. Hi, Mary J. Blige. Um, Jacqueline, I love it. Says she's had Lael withdrawal. Belinda says love the green. I wear might wear my green tomorrow. Uh, I'm really into like this Kelly green color lately. Um, so I kind of keep collecting a few more pieces. I don't wear a lot of color in my real life. So trying to change that. When I say real life, I mean like every day. When I teach, when I do these, I try to wear more color because it just is better. But real life, not so much color. Uh, hi, Beach. Hi, Devra. Nice to see you. I was with Devra this past weekend uh, in, um, in Spokane, the Three Craft Chicks Retreat. Uh, Gracie, um, Mimi ordered a couple kits. Libby said hello from North Central Texas, where you survived 55 seconds in the path of total destruction. Is it the path of totality? That was really cool. I think I was on an airplane when that happened. Um, I was flying from Spokane back to Salt Lake, and uh, I think it was during that time. Um, regardless, Salt Lake City in, you know, suburbs where we are, not in the path of totality. So I think you could maybe see a little bit of it, but um, what you see online, the people that were in the path of totality. It looked amazing. Uh, we're talking about the eclipse, the solar eclipse. Um, Lollipop Guild said, good evening. Amanda, hello from Yorkville, Illinois. Uh, Belinda says she has a dress in this color. Love it, love it. Uh, thank you, Terry, said, looks great on you. And Jennifer said, hello, Lil, the green is very pretty on you. Hello, everyone. Okay, I think I got everyone in the chat. If I missed you, I apologize. All right, friends, we have lots to look at this evening. Uh, we will be looking at uh, some... Just kind of onesie twosies 
that um, I've brought into the website. They have just been uh, piling up in my little container. So we'll take a look at those first. We will then move on to the new 49 and Market Crafty Garden Collection, which is beautiful. And then we'll take a look at the one, two, three, four brand new uh, project kits. So let's rotate the camera. I'll turn off the overhead lights, turn on both studio lights, close the, close the blinds and all that. So give me a second while we do that. Here we go. Uh, while we do that, Sam, our younger son, was over for dinner. So we were just chatting and uh, just, you know, chatting, catching up, Nick and Sam and I. And uh, yeah. So I was a little bit rushed here. Uh, I mean, everything was in a bin, just not necessarily organized, you know? Not necessarily organized for us to get started because I've been doing tons of design work. Uh, since I got home. I got home mm, Monday afternoon-ish and then all day Tuesday. With, with, oh yeah, Wednesday. Duh. Um, all, also all day today. Lots of designing going on. So also working on uh, in the middle of the... Golly, that looks so dark. Uh, golly. <laughs> Boy, I age myself, I guess. Golly jeepers. <laughs> what is that? Golly, golly beeve. Like from, from Leave It to Beaver? Anyhow. All right, let's just dig in. All right, let's dig in. Uh, let's take a look at some just kind of miscellaneous things. Uh, a couple of, maybe months ago, I had showed something very similar to this. Uh, those, the, the first version that I shared, this has sold out, and now this is another version. But this is a little business card size uh, case of colored pencils and a little um, eraser and a little pencil sharpener. So for travel, this is such a cool little tool. Uh, so it just kind of opens up like that, your little business card size. And your little pencils are probably about, I don't know, maybe two inches long. Let's see. Uh, yeah, just shy of about one and three quarter inches long. So they're just these little teeny cute colored pencils that if you don't have a lot of room, and you're traveling or you don't have a lot of room and you want to take some of your supplies with you to work with that's just a cute little thing right your little built-in well your little pencil sharpener pops out like that and then your little eraser pops out uh let me fix that but uh, the one that i had before had a white case and now this one has a little clear case so super cute all right uh one two three four i think four new notepads this little guy i love lists i mean right that's like me personified. I love lists. So nice, cute little uh, notepad there. I love lists. This one uh, is to do or not to do. So um, I have recently started carrying some products from Rifle Paper Company. Uh, and this is one of those products. So this is just a fun little notepad to do or not to do with um, some very famous books down below. Great Expectations, Gulliver's Travels, Les Mis, The Wonderful World of Oz, Hamlet, Warren, Peace, Pride and Prejudice, and so forth. So just a nice little checklist there, 75 sheets. And then we have these two. Oh, Terry, <laughs> I saw your comment, hang tight, hang tight. All right, um, these two. This one was out of stock for quite a while and I brought it back in. Uh, it says basically making it up as I go along. So another fun little uh, listing notepad there for just your to-do list or what have you. Or you could, you know, write your creative list on this. And then this one, I will omit one of those words, checklist for the grown ASS lady. I just thought that was so fun. Checklist for the grown ASS lady. Uh, so that may pertain to you or it may not at all because that doesn't necessarily uh, fit your taste or style. So those are the four brand new, um, brand new notepads that are in stock. I think, I'm gonna say there was another one that I think is out of stock. Maybe one of those, I don't know. These have been in the, the what's new bin. Oh, Kathy, bless your heart, in a good way. Kathy said, don't forget to plug in, thank you. All right, let me um, let me stop really quickly and let's take a look at the chat. Um, let's see, uh, Terry said, Lil, first can we just take a minute to rave about the Idea Book Volume 2? Since most of us have received ours, congrats again, it's wonderful. Thank you so much, Terry. Yes, 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 thank you so much. Um, it, uh, very exciting, right? Now two Idea Books, it's kind of crazy. Uh, we have 
this is the this is the most amazing news uh, that Lily and Denise uh, that work for me have. Um, they are all caught up on orders. Um, unless you had reordered the typewriter die, they got through all of the orders. I think there were some stragglers left um, this past Monday. So the goal was to get everything out by the 5th, and I think they took until the 8th. But there were so many orders, and there were lots of people that had multiple orders and combining and changing, and they did an amazing job. So um, if you don't have your order yet, you should have it um, very quickly. Uh, so that's very exciting. I will tell you also, um, I am more than halfway sold out of the second idea book, volume two. So I listing with Lale idea book, volume two, and I ordered 50% uh, more on this idea book than I did the first round on the um, original idea book. Anyhow, um, there's, they're selling well, and I just can't thank you guys enough for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yes, lots of stamps came out. Um, if you haven't heard me say this before, uh, the plan for 2024 going forward is there will be a new stamp release every other month. So uh, we had the March stamp release, and next month in May there will be another stamp release. And then I have something fun up my sleeve uh, for the off month. So uh, on the 15th of April, which would be, I don't know, about five days away, um, I will be doing something, announcing something there that we'll be doing in the off months of the stamp releases. So stay tuned for that. Hi, honey, from the other room. <laughs> oh, just like Gomer Pyle, right, Nancy? Nancy said, golly. That's Gomer Pyle, right? Golly. All right. Um, okay. Uh, and I just have two here, but I will uh, share these. They come in a package of four. These are seven by just shy of 10. So it's like the seven by 9.8. These are um, a new Velcro storage envelope. So if you have bigger things that you wanna store, there are now three different sizes of those Velcro storage envelopes. There is a four by six, there's a five by seven, and now uh, there's this size. And now that I think about it, probably should do a variety pack that has a couple of each one. So uh, I will get on that. But for now, uh, there are uh, that's a new size, 7 by 9.8, and those come in a pack of four. Yes, and as you can see, they're semi-transparent, right? Semi-transparent, semi-translucent. Well, here, I'll just show you. I'll just throw these little stickers in here. So it's nice. You can kind of still see what's in there, but it keeps everything together and then kind of protected, and then having that little Velcro makes it really easy to just kind of get things in and out. Okay. So let's keep going because there's loads of things to share. Let's take a look at some of the new vinyl stickers. Um, you guys love your vinyl stickers, so I keep finding fun new vinyl stickers to bring in. Uh, your vinyl stickers are great to go on your water bottles, or on your laptops, or on your Epson Picture Mate PM400 printer, uh, really anything that you can stick a sticker to. Uh, the vinyl stickers are great for that. What makes a vinyl sticker um, a little bit more durable than a, um, a regular sticker, if you will, while they're vinyl, which means they're scratch resistant, they're fade resistant, they're waterproof, uh, um, fade, scratch, waterproof. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, uh, this one, always be planning your next trip. This is so me. Uh, as I ba basically came home on Monday and I'm like, okay, where are we going next? Two weeks, we're leaving again. And then uh, about a month after that, we're leaving again. This is me. We're in our kind of our travel phase of life. Nick, uh, Nick and I, my husband, uh, we are definitely in the phase of what, where are we going next? What are we doing next? So always be planning your next trip. Uh, more art supplies is always a good idea. Yes, 100%. Absolutely. More art supplies. And all the things that we do here, they're art supplies, right? So more, more art supplies, always a good idea. Every day is a good day to read a book. So true, right? I don't know, There, I don't think there's not a good day. I don't think there's a bad day to read a book. I think every day is a good day to read a book. Huh. Bookmarks are for quitters, <laughs> right? That implies just read the whole darn thing in one sitting, right? Forget the bookmarks, just read, 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 and get it read. Bookmarks are for quitters. Um, oh, um, these also, I've seen people put um, things on like their Kindle. So if you have a Kindle or an e-reader, um, especially if you have a case on that Kindle or e-reader, fun to add your little vinyl stickers. Do more of what makes you happy. Uh, we all need to have this like 
Um, tattoo to our forehead, right? Do more of what makes you happy. Uh, we really should, because if we don't, if we're not in charge of this for ourselves, then who is? Let me move this, because that's giving us a lot of glare there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I deserve a little treat. <laughs> yeah. I prob This probably is tattooed to my forehead, and I should probably have it removed, because I always think I deserve a little treat, right? I deserve a little treat, just so that was fun. And I'd rather be at home. Okay, some people would rather be home. All right, so those are new vinyl stickers. There is another one that sold out that I have. Um, I am in the process of placing a reorder. I tried to place it today, but uh, the manufacturer I ordered them from also sold out. These sold out, like, um, I can't even show you one because I don't have any. Uh, a sticker that says swearing helps. Uh, those flew, so those more of those will be coming back in if you miss those, if you miss those. Um, all right, so going circling back to Rifle Paper Company for a minute. Uh, Rifle Paper Company is a company that has been around. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know how long they've been around. Uh, but they are known for their floral patterns. Okay, they're known for their florals. So I have brought in uh, a... Is there one of these missing? I thought there was more than one, maybe. Mm. Uh, a This is a mechanical pencil. Okay. Nice metallic, I mean, not metallic, nice metal. That is not metallic. It is like a shiny metal, but um, nice metal, gold hardware. Uh, and that is your mechanical pencil that takes just your regular uh, lead. So with all the new pens and pencils on the website, it tells you what size they take. Just your standard. Doesn't have to be from Rifle. So there is that. There are two uh, pens and this is my, oh, this pattern. I have a number of things in my personal arsenal. Uh, in, sorry, I should have opened these little things first. Uh, and this little pattern, that, let's get it out of that little box there. It matches my sweater. Um, these are great just to add to your planner, add to your traveler's notebook. They just make kind of a nice little decorative accent, um, but they also serve a purpose too, right? Uh, let me just grab, let's just grab a little, a little something to write on so you can see. Mm. Rifle pen. That is a gel pen. Okay, that is in black. Here's the pencil. I mean, we all know what a pencil looks like. Rifle pencil. And then another pen. Yes, they're beautiful. They're just um, and such nice quality. Really nice and sturdy, like heavy duty, right? That one is um, a pastel. Same as, oopsie, they come with the little, you know, thing to protect the nib. So um, plus that's a same exact as that first one that we saw. That guy right there. Just a different pattern. And then these are, um, Terry said yes, but how do they feel to write with? So because it is a gel, um, gel pen, gel pen rollerball. Mm, let me look, <laughs> let me look. See if it says, I know it, a rollerball, sorry. Because it's a rollerball and refillable ink on the website, I have linked uh, to the refills that Rifle recommends, and I've just linked um, on Amazon, so they're you know easily available. They're very smooth. This is a roller ball pen from Rifle Paper Co. Because it's a roller ball, um, the ink um, flows very smoothly. Mmm, Carla, uh, waterproof. Mm. You know, I doubt it. I'm going to say I doubt it. Let me look at the box. Stainless steel, refillable, black ink, 0.5 millimeter. I'm going to say no. Um, I have iced tea in here, so I'm not going to try it. If, um, if you want to, if you will text me and text me, if you will email me and ask, I will test it afterwards, but I'm gonna say it's probably not. I don't think it's permanent, okay? Mm. I do not think it's permanent. All right, so one more thing that we want to look at. This is a set of gel pens. This is how, where I was getting gel and rollerball confused. So with the beautiful florals that Rifle is known for, 
pull these out. So a set of four. Now these are not metal, okay? These are plastic. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Let me just grab those. These are plastic, this set of four. But if you'll notice up top, pink, orange, blue, green. The gel is pink, orange, blue, green. All right, so colored. Let's get this guy. Oh, this is beautiful. Green gel pen, uh, very smooth. So these come in the set of four. I'll bring this up to the camera so you can see after. This is blue gel pen. Uh, they're, they are um, retractable, right? Retractable. Here's our little orange. This is orange gel pen. All right, last one is pink. Hi, Nancy, nice to see you. Uh, Tara, y'all bring it up. No, not teal. Um, blue, blue. This is pink gel pen. Now, these are not going to be refillable, okay? So these are not refillable. Uh, they're plastic, so kind of once they're out of ink, they are out of ink. But that is your set of four with the beautiful kind of floral. Hi, Reggie. Reggie wants to come in. Uh, if any of you follow Reggie on Instagram, his Instagram is name his Instagram is his Instagram name is um, Reggie Sir Reginald the Third. I put a video up today of him. It is the funniest thing you've ever seen. So. All right, there we go. So blue, excuse me, green, blue, orange, pink, that is the set of gel pins. And then that is um, the rollerball. So the two uh, rollerball, but very nice, very smooth. Hi, Denise. All right, so let's put this little guy away. And let me get all these off to the side now. Now, guess what? Now those go in all of my little personal stash. <laughs> Yay, yay. All right. Okay, we've got everything there. Uh, we are going to move to Crafty Garden from 49 and Market. Uh, it is beautiful, okay? I'm gonna start out with this. These are always super popular. Uh, 49 and Market started doing these, they, they call them project totes. Um, basically, it's a pouch. I'm not sure what they call them project totes, but it is a very nice um, fabric, very thick. Nice fabric. Uh, let me grab my little ruler here so we can just take a quick little measurement. Uh, this measures, ooh, about probably 13 by nine and a half. So very nice size. But look at that. Look at the vibrancy of those beautiful colors, right? And the pattern. Uh, all of their little project totes, as they call them, or these little pouches, have a little, um, kind of a little charm that say 49 and it has a lobster clasp. So you can leave it on the zipper as kind of like a zipper pull, or you could take that and put it on anything that she wanted. So uh, the last couple of releases as they've done these, um, it includes now one, just one little thing. Uh, when they first released these, um, there were a number of products in there, but it took the price point up to about, I think I wanna say like $36 retail they have pulled way back. I imagine they got some feedback from retailers and from consumers. They have pulled way back on the contents in order to get the price down. So um, it just includes some enamel dots. And I wanna say that those retail for, I think $14.99, but um, beautifully lined on the inside. Lots of room in there. Um, when you look at the bottom of it, it's a little bit gusseted. Nice pouch, nice pouch to store whatever you'd like in. Um, you could certainly fit a traveler's notebook in there. Uh, let's just let's just demonstrate that. Traveler's notebook, traveler's notebook fits in there, and you could fit lots more things. Um, Mitch W, do the albums fit inside the project totes? Uh, which albums? That's a great question. But which albums? All right. Next up, we have so that is the Crafty Garden uh, project tote. Project Tote, I think they call it, yeah, zipper, right? Little zipper pouch. 
All right, so we're gonna take a look at the a la carte items from uh, Crafty Garden, and then we will take a look at the big bundle. So if you are new to Lail by Mail, um, I do lots of a la carte products in collections, and then I also do a big bundle. With the big bundle, um, you'd be looking at all of the a la carte products, plus some additional things that I don't bring in a la carte, uh, but when you buy the big bundle, you get 15% off because basically you're just buying that big old bundle. So we'll take a look at the big old, <laughs> the big old bundle. We'll take a look at the big bundle in a sec. All right, so what I've opened up here is the six by eight paper pack. So with the six by eight paper pack, you have, mm, you have, uh, now I'm trying to remember, one, two, two each of, I, you know what? I don't remember. And they've taken, they've done something a little different to their packaging, which uh, I need to have a chat with them about because they have a retailer's uh, website on the front of the packaging of this little six by eight paper pack, um, which um, is not me. <laughs> so uh, I think they've taken that off uh, the contents and they put that on there. So um, I know there's two sheets each. I want to say, well, we'll count them. Okay, how about that? We'll count them as we go. So here are our first two. Okay, so we'll look at front and backs. A sides, B sides. Beautiful color palette. Very nice and subtle. We'll do that so you can see A side and B side together. I love that they do two sheets each of each of the patterns because then you can work two or you can do this and have both uh, patterns if you have a hard time choosing. I just love how subtle um, this collection is, Crafty Garden. I love kind of the really neutral craft tone, but then the pops of color there. And the artwork that uh, 49 and Market is definitely known for. And uh, that Katie Partit, who is their, um, one of their designers. I don't know if it's been announced yet or not. They have another designer joining uh, 49 and Market. So this is now one of their designers. Um, let's see, Mitch, the travel, oh, the travel album on the right, your class album. Thanks for showing the Lail book. I can definitely see me using that. Um, you know what? I do not, well, let's just, let's just look and we'll take a look at those um, soon. But I don't think, mm, well, you know what? It actually does. Uh, it's a little tight, but it does fit. A little tight, but it does fit. All right. Um, that's just distracting us over there, isn't it? All right, we'll keep we'll keep continuing on with the paper pack. Love Terry. Terry knows. Love my yellow. So I love all the pops of yellow in that collection. So beautiful. I uh, love that too. Kind of all the artwork is done for you. You can have a little photo or whatever you'd like there. Same here. I think that one goes. Actually, it could really go either way, but um, there's the back side. This one is definitely your landscape versus portrait, but there is another version of that, right, that we saw at the beginning that is your, your excuse me, your portrait. There's another landscape. All right, there's the back. So um, you also have on the back side of the cover some little cut apart. So lots and lots and lots of different uh, beautiful patterns to work with there. And that is the six by eight paper pack. So that is available a la carte, and you will also see that in the um, in the big bundle. Next up, let's take a look at Mimi said, OMG, this is amazing. 40 Mine and Market does it again. I know, right? Seriously. Ms. L said, I'm loving this collection. Same. I've been using 49 and Market a lot in my um, in my travel, my personal like travel. Uh, junk journal or travel glue book that I've been doing. Um, they've just it's worked really well with that. These are the wishing bubbles and baubles. So in this guy, you have 136 epoxy coated sticker embellishments. So epoxy coated stickers, so many pieces in here, right? What did I say? 136. All your little dots with the different patterns. Uh, your little daisies. That's funny. Those kind of look like um, sunny side up eggs, don't they? They're they're daisies. Uh, some little moths and butterflies, words, 
hearts and then all those little teeny hearts down there. So 136 pieces. The value for these, you guys, um, if you haven't picked these up, you get so many pieces for that price point. So um, that's an awesome little, awesome little product there. All right, let's see what else we have. Let's move to here. How about the acetate assortment? So there are 45 pieces in here. What we're seeing at 49 and Market do recently with their acetate pieces, um, prior to the last couple of releases, they had been, hang on. I'm gonna get out a bunch of trays here that we can see things on. Uh, they had multiple different packs of acetate pieces. And I love what they've done. They've now combined them, kind of an assortment into one pack. So you get the film strips. So here's our little film strips, the different colors, different sizes. Uh, these are fun to add little photos behind. You could um, kind of jazz them up by adding additional or layering additional little um either stickers or die cuts or even little acetate pieces on top. And then we're going to see, let's get those out of there, some of the leaves and butterflies and flowers. Uh, with your acetate pieces, you can use glue dots to adhere. Um, if you have a large surface area, uh, you can use uh, maybe your tape runner, it depends on how you're using it and what you're adhering it to, and if you plan on putting something else on top of it. So, and um, they always like to kind of play around with the different adhesive I'm using when I'm using uh, the acetate pieces. But if I plan on maybe layering something on top of that, then I can camouflage my adhesive on the back and then put my layer on top. You can also use a little tiny stapler, like a Tim Holtz tiny attacher or something like that, depending on you know where you are, um, you know where you're working with it. Love that. Look at that. Those um, big kind of mixed media type looking uh, pieces. So there's a tan one too. Anyhow, beautiful florals. Uh, some of your little mm, dragonflies, and then these beautiful as well. So your acetate semi, so you can see my hand through there, uh, semi-transparent, semi-opaque. In that guy, you have 45 acetate pieces. Oh, look at that. That's even fun too. Uh, that, for those of you that don't particularly like rub-ons, but you like the look of a rub-on, that acetate is pretty cool because it looks like it's rubbed on, but acetate. All right, let's get that one out of the way. Uh, one thing I'll mention, if you are not familiar with 49 and Market products, um, that packaging, do not throw that away, friends. Look at that. Um, all of their packaging and all their products is like this. So I can cut that header off and then use that for whatever I'd like. Um, I love that they do that for us so we can use that. Um, the only thing that you need to be kind of aware of, if you want to write on something like this, it's kind of a slicker surface. So if you want to write on something like this, you want to be using, hmm, I think I have that uh, in one of my travel bags. You want to be using a pe pen uh, that is made for writing on slick surfaces. Um, and for me, that would be the Zig Photo Signature Marker. And those I have on the website. Okay, so there we go. Those were the acetate pieces. Now let's look at, ooh, my favorites. Uh, well, there's two favorites here that I have. Uh, the laser cuts and the rub-ons. And there should be another laser cut there. All right, let's take a look at laser cuts first. Um, I find myself using these together quite a bit. Um, so the laser cuts, the first pack that we're looking at, this is a Crafty Garden Mini Laser Cuts. All right, this has 107 individual little pieces and there are four six by eight sheets here. So um, they started doing these little six by eight versions um, a couple of releases ago and I love them. If you're not familiar with their laser cuts, uh, let me pull this guy out. When you are working with them, you just need to be gentle, right? Because they're very delicate. But this is how amazing the laser cuts are. Look at that level of detail because it's cut with a laser. Far more detail that you can get in a sticker or a regular die cut. So 
Um, those are, I think, really fun to work with because they are so intricate. So that will give you an idea of two of the uh, six by eight sheets. And then these are the other two. And these are the minis. Look at your little picket fence there. Isn't that fun? And your little window, uh, some lace that really looks like, um, it's very intricate, it looks like lace because it has been laser cut. So those are the mini laser cut elements in that crafty garden collection. Uh, let me just try to put this little guy right back there so he doesn't escape me. Okay, mini, then we have one, two, full size. So full size, six inches by 12 and a half. And in each of these, you have four sheets. These are the laser cut wildflowers and the laser cut elements. So let's look at the laser cut wildflowers first. Hi, Melanie. All right. Yes, so much goodness. I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. Uh, so there on the back of the packaging, again, they've given us something that we can work with. So that's the back of the packaging. Um, it, it, that is not die cut, it's flat. So if you wanted to use that, you would just, um, you know, fussy cut it. But even this, look at that. You could even cut that and cut that and use that beautiful kind of piece as a background. All right, look at these. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. Um, I have not opened any of the packages yet. So aside from seeing it online and ordering online, um, I'm kind of seeing it for the first time here as you guys. The yellow to me is so perfect for this time of year, but also super neutral because you could use it really any time of year, but love that really kind of light blue coordinates with it. And then these are the other two sheets. Oh, I was gonna say it was upside down, but I don't think so because we've got butterflies fluttering both ways. So those, that pack, the wildflowers, and then we move to kind of just the general laser cut elements. So with the laser cut elements, you're going to see, um, I don't know how I would describe these, not flowers. You might see a flower or two. Uh, Jacqueline said, my husband is not going to like you. I have to have these. Well, I guess not everyone can like me, Jacqueline. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny, but I get it, I get it. All right, so this is the uh, laser cut element, so not specific, not the minis and not the floral or the wildflowers. Um, there's another one of those really large fences, large window. So we're seeing some of the same or similar elements that we saw in the minis, but these are now going to be on a larger scale. Look at those beautiful like um, canceled stamps. Uh, a couple of word strips. Love this guy I like this. Oh my goodness, look at this. I thought that was one stack, but look at You have this little guy that pops out. And then you have this, fr ooh, that frame is fun, right? Anyhow, lots of wonderful pieces there. And as I pulled all these apart, let's look at this guy. Uh, these are the other two six by 12 and a half sheets. But look at those lace pieces. Can you guys see that? The in intricacies were like that one, that, sorry, I keep moving that around. That piece right there has all those little tiny holes cut out in the lace. So it really truly does look like lace. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Karen said, I like using pretty collections like this any time of year. I'm right there with you, right? Because sometimes it's winter and we might be, you know, we might be working on something that's summer or spring or, Really, you know, anything. We can use anything that we want any time of year. All right, so then three different packages of the rub-ons. So these are uh, six by 12, and within each package, there are three sheets. Uh, we're going to take a look at the backer. So backer again, um, right down below, it's showing us what those three designs look like. But then that is all, you know, Basically, we can cut that up and use it, right? We can use that on a project. Again, I love it they do that with our packaging. All right, here is the first one. Kind of fun watercolor. Then this guy. So words and phrases with some stitching. And then, oh my goodness, look at this one. With the, um, the different like definitions. So pretty. 
And what um, those of you that use Traveler's Notebooks a lot like I do, I love the size of all of these because they're not too big to use. Um, sometimes you get a rub on and it's so big it doesn't really work in a Traveler's Notebook. Um, but these are great. And I guess we could transfer that to a tag or a greeting card or something like that. I like that they're a little bit smaller and not giant. So those were the um, just the essentials, okay? Just the essentials robots. I shouldn't say just, those are the essentials. Uh, then we move into the botanicals. The botanicals, April said, I wonder if I can send this big bundle link to my boys and say Mother's Day next month, hint, hint, right? You know what? If um, April, if your boys are anything like mine, and Nick, my husband, they're always like, we don't know what to get you. You're so hard to shop for. It, in my opinion, there is no shame in giving your loved ones hints to things that you would like, right? All right, so these are the botanicals. So botanicals are going to lean more towards the florals that we see and some of the greenery that we see. Oh my goodness, look at those butterflies. So good. Some few bees on there as well, a couple of dragonflies. And then you have um, the greenery, all right? So those are the, um, the botanical rub-ons. What I find myself doing uh, is I find myself using the rub-ons as the base layer and then putting the, um, the laser cuts on top of it. And because both with rub-ons and with the laser cuts, there's really no border around either. So it's like you created this amazing masterpiece with mixed media that you didn't know how, didn't have to know how to do. And then you even have a little bit of dimension because you're adding the laser cuts on top of those, um, on top of those rub-ons. All right, last package of rub-ons. These are blendable. Um, and I don't know what they mean by blendable. Um, I have tested, you can layer rub-ons. So you can layer one rub-on on top of another. You would, um, you know, rub them on independently. So you'd rub the first one on and then the second one on top, being very careful. But when they say blendable, I'm not quite sure what they mean. Uh, just different designs, I guess. All right, so there we go. Maybe it's, maybe, I don't know, blendable. Another one, some kind of fun little buffalo check or gingham there. I don't know, is buffalo check reserved for black and white and everything else is gingham or can you have like a yellow buffalo check i don't know i do not know um amanda said that is so pretty i need to learn how to use those amanda are you talking about rub-ons um if you are every time on saturday and i've pretty much been using them uh every saturday when we're doing our listing uh i do kind of a this is how you use them so um, if you haven't checked one of those out, shoot me an email and I will uh, send you a video and tell you where to fast forward to where you can kind of watch me use rub-ons and I explain um, at least my tips and there's different ways to use them, but my tips on um, how I find uh, some of the techniques that I do when I'm using a rub-on, uh, find it to be a little successful. All right, and then there's your beautiful artwork on the back, and then you can see the three there. Everything I'm showing you available on the website, mailbymail.com. Uh, and then um, for most, if not all the products, you'll see kind of the front, kind of the hero shot, which would be kind of the, the packaging, like you would see that. And then the second image you would see would be that. So you can kind of get a feel for what is in the package. Um, all right, next up. You know what, Amanda, um, I will, this Saturday, uh, this Saturday, I will do a list. So we are listing this Saturday, that will be the 13th of April. Uh, I will do a list where I use rub-ons and laser cuts and kind of layer them on top of each other. All right, these are the chipboard words. So 68 pieces, and that's that font that we're used to seeing from 49 and Market. Uh, this will give you a really good feel for the color palette. So, um, those pieces, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are kind of the main colors in the color palette. And you see those represented in uh, those chipboard words. So they are not self-adhesive. You just need to use your liquid adhesive or whatever you like to use uh, to adhere. So lots of cursive or script words, cursive. Uh, all kinds of great sentiments. And then you have some little word strips 
lots of little word strips. And then you have lots of little hearts as well, all right? And the hearts are mostly kind of that craft color, which I imagine if you wanted to. Uh, so this is um, the like colorful side, like that would be the colorful side. That's the colorful side. That is the back. So back is white. Uh, when I say colorful side, that is the um, kind of that crafty color. But I imagine you could probably ink those up if you wanted to, to add a little bit more color. Okay, those are the chipboard words. Um, Amanda, you will be at a scrap weekend and do listing with no interruptions from kiddos. Oh, I remember those days. I remember those days well, right? You think you have them all situated and then not. All right. Next up, we have, whoopsie, we have the chipboard set. So um, what we saw prior was pri primarily uh, words. And now we're going to have icons. We'll still have a couple of words, but those beautiful florals, kind of the daisies, wild looking flowers, right? Um, lots of little butterflies. Your little circles that have the little phrases on them all in that same color palette. And then you have some of these little kind of word banners or sentiments. Live, create, dream, photographs and memories. You have some little labels with word strips that pop out in the center. Uh, and then you also have some tags. Look at these guys, those chipboard tags. So pretty. 54 pieces in the uh, chipboard set. I just love this color palette. It makes me so happy. Makes me happy. All righty. We have a couple more, friends. Couple more. We have the ephemera bits. Uh, the ephemera, let's just take a look at this. Uh, this measures about six and a half by eight and a half. This is a giant, giant, giant package of ephemera. If you are not familiar with 49 and Market products, um, their ephemera packs are very hearty. They are very hearty. And I don't mean full of hearts. They're hard, hearty, hearty, hearty. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, you know what I mean? There's lots of pieces in them. And the scale on the pieces, uh, look at these. I mean, look at that. That That is, well, let's just see. That is going to be about eight inches. Eight by probably three. Yep, eight by two and three quarters. So nice size pieces, starting large. Those envelopes are fun. Lots of different kind of ephemera there. But look at, even we still have some of these big pieces. Uh, if you're working in layouts or even mini books, these would work. Um, smaller, these are to get a little smaller, could work in your traveler's notebooks. Right, we get to the smaller size, definitely we're working your traveler's notebooks. There are 114 die cut pieces in here. So many pieces, beautiful artwork. Some of this artwork we haven't seen in um, the other products that we've looked at so far in the collection. Lots of tickets, lots of vintage ephemera. And then we have some word strips, lots of fun pieces there. So if you wanna kind of get a better feel for all of those little pieces, if you go to the website labelbymail.com and look up the Crafty Garden Ephemera Bits, you will see that image. Um, and then you can kind of get a feel for all of those pieces. But I love the scale on those, big down to small. Okay. Almost last but not least, uh, two more things after this, uh, and then we'll get into the mini, or not the mini book projects, we'll get into the project kits. Uh, these are the stacked frames. There are 64 die cut pieces. So these little frames are great for framing your photos, framing a quote, framing journaling. Uh, there's some large ones there, right? So we have lots of different kind of pieces. You have, well, 64, you're going to have lots of large ones, smaller ones, like your little squares, like for your little Instagram photos. These can be used either uh, portrait or landscape, right? You could turn them either way. So pretty basic, but they're just beautiful frames. 
that were great for layering with um, the rub-ons or layering with the laser cut pieces, the chipboard words, the ephemera, what have you. So uh, 64 pieces there. And um, ba -ba -ba -da. oh, I know what they're telling us here. Frames designed to fit three by three, three by four and four by six. Layer pieces for a stack frame or use alone. So when they say that, there and there, you could layer those pieces for a stacked frame or there's your frame, you could use that for something else, journaling or a mat for a photo or something like that. Okay, let's take a look at the washi tape and the washi stickers. The washi tape, I love it when they do the postage stamp washi tape. So postage stamp washi tape, uh, this is perforated five meters, okay? So five meters. When I say perforated, let me find our little start here. You can use, perforated like a postage stamp, right? You can use this in one long piece, or I guess however, you know, long you need it to be. You could keep those pieces connected like that. Oh my goodness, the colors just kills me. Look at that, that blue. Or you can tear them apart so you get kind of your little postage stamp look. So it looks a little bit more like a sticker when you do that, right? So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll pull that up to the camera just so you can kind of see. But the color, the vibrancy in that yellow and that blue, kind of that Tiffany blue is just Beautiful. All righty. Last up, I know the washi, right? Um, <laughs> April said, y'all, I'm trying to listen to Lael. My freaking dog is dropping her squeaky ball at my feet and barking at me to throw it. You're like, seriously? That's when I'm always like, um, is there anyone else in my family that doesn't realize that I am busy trying to do something? <laughs> the cat will be in here. Reggie will be in here. I don't know, pawing at the door, or trying to come in or wreaking havoc, walking all over. And I'm like, Nick, Nick. And Nick's in the other room, totally oblivious. All right, the last thing that I just pulled out, these are the washi stickers. So this is really the only version of sticker that 49 and Market does, and they're pretty unique. So what I'm doing here is, I need to get this little piece started. Every time I say, I'm gonna start this before we start, and then I never do. I always forget until I get to this point. All right, so I have it started. The washi stickers. I think the easiest way to use these is to peel off the negative. And when I say the negative, I mean this kind of outlined part here. And I've got something a little funky going on. Let me just do this, because I've got part of that uh, that, you know, it was stuck on itself from the roll. So let me just get rid of that. Then it will be a lot easier to see. All right. So if you peel off the negative, it reveals the positive, right? It reveals the sticker. But when I say sticker, it is a washi sticker. So similar to washi, it is going to be a little bit opaque, a little bit transparent or translucent. All right, so your pattern here is going to repeat about every 13 inches. All right, so let me just stop right there. Get rid of that. And then, oh, I will um, put that on a piece of paper, not it. I'll put a couple of those on a piece of paper so you can see what they, well, let's put it with its friends. Let's put it with its friends, the washi, wherever I was. Oh, here we go. All right. So, they just pull right off, as you would expect. Let me put that one down. That little guy right there. And then I wanna get one that you'll be able to see a little bit easier that it is kind of a little bit transparent or translucent. All right. So as I bring that up to the camera, you can kind of see the lines on this piece of paper showing through. Um, I like these type of stickers that 49 and Market does quite a bit because 
um, that background that's kind of the transparent, translucent, um, really just kind of blends into the background, right? So you don't see uh, kind of a really white, stark background around those that you, um, in a lot of cases, see around regular stickers. Okay, so those are the washi stickers. All right, so everything I've showed you so far is available a la carte, okay? A la carte, available a la carte on my website, meaning you could buy the washi stickers by themselves, or you could buy, you know, it's kind of like when you go to a Mexican restaurant and you're like, I'd, I'd like a taco, and I'd like a tostada, and I'd like a burrito, I don't know. Um, so available a la carte. But then you can also get the combo, right? And that's where you get like the two, the beef enchilada, the cheese enchilada, the rice and beans. So the big bundle is like the combo, all right? So the big bundle I do um, with all of the collections that I bring in, uh, 49 and Market and Simple Stories and Pretty Little Studio. Um, I think that's it. I think that's the, what I do the big bundles for. Anyhow, includes everything uh, that I've showed you a la carte, but also includes two more things that I do not bring in a la carte. So all of the rub-on packs, the um, the washi, the washi stickers, everything that we took a look at, took a look at, yeah, with the exception of these two guys. So the big bundle also includes the 12 by 12 collection pack, along with the 12 by 12 solids collection pack, all right? So let's take a quick look at this. Um, we're going to see similar patterns that we saw in the six by eight paper pack, but these are scale to size. When I say scale to size, I mean they are larger. Um, the pattern is larger. Obviously the paper is larger, but the pattern is larger. Um, so if I were to look at the six by eight paper pack again, we might see, well, actually we would see, uh, let me just grab this. So we would see that, right? Six by eight, 12 by 12. It is scaled to the larger size. So not only is it 12 by 12, but the artwork, like look at the size difference in the butterfly because you have more room. The nice thing is if you're working in a smaller space, it's nice to have the smaller scale on a six by eight. But if you're working in a larger space, it's nice to have the larger scale. So beautiful, beautiful. You're still going to see kind of your B sides or your a um, little bit more neutral pattern, mixable patterns on the B side. That one just makes me so happy. I can't even tell you, the yellow. Some little multicolored kind of mixed media looking layered polka dots. The blue. That kind of epitomizes the crafty garden. Look it, that is the pattern from the pouch. Right, pattern from the pouch. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, uh, so we're seeing 10 different uh, papers in this pack. If you are not familiar with 49 and Market papers and the quality, these are super heavy duty. Can you hear that? Very, very, very heavy duty. Um, thicker than your kind of traditional like simple stories or um, if you're familiar with Carabella, Maybe a little bit like the thickness of Cardabella without the texture. Beautiful. Oh, this one is so fun, isn't that? That one's called Java Explosion, I love it. This one too, oh, the layers. So if you don't know, know me, I am, I don't do anything mixed media. Well, I stamp with ink. That's about as mixed media as I get. Every once in a while, I use a stencil with ink. But this, I love the look. It just, I just not, I don't do it. But this, with all the artwork, all the artwork is layered. There's some inking kind of watercolor. You have stitching. You have doilies. Uh, you probably have some gesso on top of that. But it's just, the artwork has all been done for us. So we get that beautiful, um, that beautiful look without having to do all the things and get all messy. Love that too. So good. And then uh, now, I think with this collection, I don't think I've seen them do this before. Uh, the cut apart, so the three by four carts. All right, so that is the 12 by 12 um, collection pack. There are 10, uh, 10 double sided papers, plus you have exclusive print on the back side of the cover that is exclusive to this collection pack. I guess that's it. 
I guess that's the exclusive print. All right, and um, super heavy, right? Super heavy duty. Okay, last but not least, part of the big bundle, that uh, coordinating solids collection pack. So if you like to have your coordinating card stock, uh, this would all be coordinating for you. Also 10 sheets, two sheets each of five different colors, plus that extra one. So uh, there we go. And then kind of the same tone on the back side, different pattern. Ooh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? There we go. Um, Melanie said, oh my gosh, beautiful. I've never been much into 49 and Market, but some of their last two collections have just been so beautiful. Melanie, I agree with you 100%. I agree with you. Um, Vicki Artie, spinal surgery, oh my goodness. Well, I hope you're okay. I hope that you are recovering well and um, maybe feeling better depending on when you add it, right? Um, okay. I'm doing better, thank you. Ex cauda equina, I don't know what that is. Um, I can walk again, so looking positive, what a kind stranger, thank you. Um, and she's saying that to Wanda. Yes, Wanda, very kind. Um, Vicki, good for you, that's amazing. Um, Terry said, does the solid collections come in the smaller size paper pack? Um, no, they only do these, um, the coordinating solids in the 12 by 12, but um, you do see, let's see, where is this? Oh, all right, we do see kind of, so that we saw there, um, you might see one or two, but they're primarily the, actually, there's another one, the yellow. So a couple of them. We saw the yellow and we kind of saw that deeper green. Oh, I'm gonna, you're gonna make me a liar. I'm making a liar out of myself and that one. So three, the smaller six by eight has three of those colors. The yellow, the green, and then kind of that beautiful teal. Alrighty, so that, uh, the um, Crafty Garden Collection from 49er Market. And we took a look at all of the a la carte items. And then the last thing that we took a look at was the big bundle. So the big bundle included everything that I showed you prior, all of those amazing pieces, plus the two 12 by 12 paper packs. Woo! <sighs> all right, friends. Now we're going to take a look at the one, two, three, four brand new Lail by Mail project kits, all right? Um, they are shipping, oh, actually, um, oh yeah, no, we're good. There's some more things that I wanna show, but I'll show you these as I show some of the project kits. Um, so they are shipping progressively over the next two weeks. Uh, the first project kit I will show you is shipping right now. And that is the May, June Traveler's Notebook project kit. So, oopsie, yikes, there we go. Uh, the May, June Traveler's Notebook project kit. So um, every other month I put out a, um, bi-monthly, I guess every other month, Traveler's Notebook project kit. That includes um, everything that you need to decorate the pockets of your traveler's notebook and also to slip cover to inserts, all right? So I, every month, I change up one of my traveler's notebooks. And when I say one, I do use more than one uh, every month, lots of different things. But this particular one always has my calendar in it. I've got some project planning in it, notes, all different kinds of things. So. Um, for the months of May and June, this is May, and it uses the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Spring Garden. That is a mouthful. Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Spring Garden Collection. Phew. So we'll be decorating pockets and then slip covering two Traveler's Notebook inserts. Uh, I am using for May the Champagne Traveler's Notebook cover, and you'll see that on the website as well as the project kit. And then for June, we are using the Sunflower Summer Collection from Echo Park. This one, when I saw it, I just loved it. I fell in love with it. It just is so bright and so cheery, and it's so summery, so it's perfect for June. It's a great way to kind of, um, kind of start off the summer without being like, 
beach balls and swimsuits and picnics, things that you usually see for summer. So this is a nice, fun way to kind of work our way into summer. So that is one project kit uh, for the months of May and June. Something that I have included uh, for um, June, and you can actually really use it on both if you wanted, is this fun little tassel. Um, so that is a um, burlap, kind of jute burlap, I guess, tassel with three wooden beads. And that I've just, I was, did it pretty quickly. I just tied it to um, the little elastics on my traveler's notebook. So you could use that really for either month because it would kind of goes with either month. But it, to me, it really kind of goes with that sunflower theme. But you could use it with that one too, if you wanted. Uh, and then for June, I'm using the Breton Black Stripe cover. All right, so that kit includes everything, like I said, that you need to kind of get your traveler's notebook set up for those two months. Um, with each month, you have three 12 by 12 papers. You have two 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheets. So there is, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Um, Mimi said, do we buy that separate or does it come with the kit? That tassel comes with the kit. Maybe you don't need to buy that separate. It's part of the kit. Um, this, I just, this, the, again, yellow, but those sunflowers are so bright and vibrant. Uh, these cute little bees, just darling. And then a cut apart paper. So that is what we're using for June with that 12 by 12 sticker. And then for May, we are using 12 by 12 sticker. And then these three beautiful papers from Simple Vintage Spring Garden the cut up hearts and then that guy. And then we're using a piece of white cardstock and um, we do, well, if you take, if you buy the kit and take the class, then you'll know. Um, but there's a class that comes with it as well. You get one insert, you get a little doily, you get two, uh, there's your doily in there, two different washi patterns, 18 inches each. And then there is that fun little, um, that fun little tassel. And that one is shipping now. Alrighty, next up, we're going to take a look at, hmm, let's switch to mini book, and then we'll come back to Traveler's Notebook, and then we'll end in mini book. You guys, this, um, so Vicki Artie said, will you be doing a 4th of July kit, as I love all things Patriotic USA, even though in the UK? Um, I may. It would be in the bi-monthly, so it would be the July part of July and August. So we'll see. I'm not sure yet. I haven't um, I haven't picked out products yet for um, for those two months for that kit. All right, this is the Live Life in Color mini book project kit. It is loaded. It I mean it is huge. I think I counted today. There's 42 pages. 42 pages with room for loads and loads and loads of photos. So this project kit uses the Simple Vintage, uh, Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette Collection. Uh, I love what Simple Stories did with this collection uh, because it is like all of the colors of the rainbow. And the way that they organized it is by color palette. So, like if we look at the six by eight paper pad, and this is part of the kit. Let me just open this up very quickly. You have reds, you have pinks, you have kind of a lavender blush, blush, orange, yellow, everything in the collection follows these different color palettes. So it all blends so well together, which makes it really fun when you're putting together a project like this because the project also um, approaches colors from that perspective as well. So the beginning, you kind of get a little nice cross section there of different colors. But as we start making our way through the project, starting out with the reds together, um, the beautiful pinks together, the blush together, and I will do um, in the next couple of days, probably, maybe next week, a full flip through video um, of this project uh, on here on YouTube so you can kind of get a better feel for it. So I'm gonna go kind of quick right now. Um, and then we move into another section, moving on with the color palettes, the oranges, the yellows. So lots of different interactive elements here. 
Um, I've skipped past a whole bunch of the interactive elements, but there's your greens. Just so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that fun? You've got that kind of fold out with a pocket with a little tag. Then we move into the teal. Such a beautiful collection. And what I love about this, you can pretty much put any kind of photos in here, right? I mean, you could do spring, you could do Mother's Day, you could do Easter, you could do bridal shower, you could do girlfriends. I mean, there's so many different things that you could do because it really has so many different colors. Then we move into kind of that indigo. Beautiful, just the collection is so pretty. And then kind of wrapping up with the violet, whoopsie. So this is the Live Life in Color mini book project kit. Uh, this will start shipping the week of the 15th, so next week. It is all designed, instructions are written. I just need to go back and then double check all the instructions. So that's kind of the last part of the process. That's a really important part of the process because we wanna make sure that, uh, that everything makes sense when you are putting it together. Uh, so that is the project. Uh, the kit includes the teal album, includes the paper pad from uh, Color Palette, includes the title foam stickers, all of those amazing colors, the ephemera, ephemera again, see what I mean by the Color Palette? Everything has um, all of the colors in it, which I think is just so beautiful. I think you have four little doilies, um, lots and lots and lots of crochet um, string thread for your tags, um, a yard of polka dot ribbon, the uh, page pieces, that's where we're getting um, those beautiful butterflies and some of the other pieces. And then this kit just keeps kind of going. The 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And then four or five, I can't remember. One, one, two, five. So five 12 by 12 papers. The cream, the teal, uh, the black, and um, that other guy, black tags, and then the other one. All right, so that is the Live Life in Color mini book project kit. Um, as always, my mini book project kits include um, all the product that you need to put the project together color step-by-step -step printed instructions. So you have the printed instructions in your kit. And then um, there is a three plus hour class um, where I make the project together with you live step-by-step. -step. And then it's recorded. So if you can't make the class live, then you're good. Oh, let me go back one, one step. Uh, when we were looking at the May, June Traveler's Notebook kit, I fell in love so much with that Sunflower Summer uh, the parts of the collection that I use, so I also brought in the collection pack, the full collection pack. So if you're looking at that collection going, oh my gosh, that's so fun. Uh, I did bring in the collection pack of that. So there are 12, 12 by 12 papers and then uh, that really fun 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Okay, we've looked at two of the four project kits, the May June Traveler's Notebook Kit and the Live Life in Color mini book project kit. Um, excuse my reach for a minute. Well, I reach across and grab this guy. This is the Take a Trip uh, Traveler's Notebook Project Kit. So we'll take a look at kind of what I've done with it, and then we'll take a look at the kit. So um, the project does not include a Traveler's Notebook cover. So um, that is sold separately. I have a couple of different um, bundles available on the website where you can pick up the project kit and then also pick up a cover. Um, two of the bundles um, are 10% off. And then one is, I don't know, like 15 or 20 and it's just a plain old black. But anyhow, you can see that on the website. Uh, I've used the Navy Petal Perfect because there's a lot of kind of navy blue in the collection. I thought it would go really well with that. So in this project kit, we are decorating pockets. That's kind of, we always start out with, we're always decorating the pockets because we like our Traveler's Notebooks to look nice and pretty when we open them. Uh, when I was teaching this past weekend at the um, Three Craft Chicks Somewhere Over the Rainbow uh, in-person event, we did a Traveler's Notebook class uh, and we didn't use this collection. Uh, and one of the participants, uh, Sarah, was showing me her project after and she did something so cool. And I said, Sarah, I'm gonna start doing this because I love it so much and I'm gonna give you credit. 
she had taken a little charm and she had punched a little hole or poked a little hole in one of the elements and she had attached the charm to that little element. So um, that is what I've done in this project kit. So this project kit includes that little charm, that little globe charm and a little jump ring. So you can just poke a little hole and um, put your little charm there. But I thought that was such a fun idea. And uh, I'm like, yes, we can do that. So a couple charms in this kit, that is one. Uh, so we're decorating pockets. We are slip covering two traveler's notebook inserts. Uh, this is the first one. This is the second uh, metal charm. So it's a fun little airplane. And as we proceed, I created, I think 15, 15 different spreads in, um, in the project to give you ideas on how you could decorate uh, the pages within your traveler's notebook. So um, in class, we'll go over all these. So we'll take a look at the kit in a minute, but a little pocket. Uh, we are using uh, a stamp set from my friend Carrie Bradford. Every so often, uh, I include one of her stamp sets in one of my projects. Uh, project kits and I love that um, she works with me on that. So we'll be using one of her um, four by six stamp sets that we'll take a look at in a minute. So we'll be doing stamping, um, giving you lots of ideas on how to use the stamps and stickers to create uh, spreads in your traveler's notebook that you can then make lists or journal about your trip or add photos, kind of super blank slate. Whoopsie, there's an errant piece of washi there. And then what I did, I just kind of started uh, brainstorming about a bunch of different ways to use the stamps. And so that is also part of that class and in class we'll kind of learn about those. All right, so there is one insert. Uh, second, actually, this would be the second insert. I kept it super plain on the cover just because it was so decorative. I kept trying to add more to the cover and um, it just never looked right because it's so decorative as it is. So that we're just kind of slip covering. But then we're also making a little pocket folder, little pocket folder to add your photos, your itinerary, your tickets and things like that. And then a cute little kind of pocket on the back there. All right, so that is uh, the Take a Trip Traveler's Notebook Project Kit. And this is the kit. So um, the kit is packaged in one of my brand new 13 by 13 storage pouches. I'm super sturdy. If you've purchased any of these so far, you know, um, they're super sturdy. They are great for um, doing things like this, adding your, um, your projects to keep track of them, uh, adding your collections, what have you. But this particular project kit includes one of those pouches. Um, and the reason it includes one of those pouches is when I travel, I like to gather all the things, the um, brochures and postcards and stickers and free little tourist magazines and things like that. So I always take things like this with me on a trip because then you put everything in and it's all nice and protected and together. So when you're ready to work on all of those things, put them to use, they're all together. So project kit includes that. All right, so we have um, a package of two lined inserts. We have 12 by 12 sticker sheet. We have one, two, three, four papers from the Let's Take the Trip collection, uh, which is the main collection I've used in this project kit. The cut aparts, really fun cloud pattern, and then the airplane and travel icons. You have a package of puppy stickers. And then this guy. The Far From Home stamp set. This is a four by six photopolymer stamp set from my friend, Carrie Bradford. Um, if you know, you know. Uh, I um, She's been a dear friend of mine for many, many, many years and she is like the stamp designer extraordinaire. I will tell you that personally in my stash, I have, I'm, when I say hundreds, I mean hundreds, hundreds of her stamps because I just love her design aesthetic so much. Um, and I think this is the second, second time or third time that I have included one of her stamps in my project kit. So this far from home stamps that we have a lot of fun with. And then just some little miscellaneous things. You have some Baker's twine, uh, the two silver charms, and then a little jump ring. And that is the uh, Take a Trip Traveler's Notebook Project Kit. 
that one is also shipping uh, the week of April 15th, so next week. Oh, one more thing, uh, roll of washi tape. So this washi tape uh, I used quite a bit in the project. Um, I'll just open that up to one of the pages so you can see. Like, there we go. Just really nice, simple um, black, and it looks like it has those kind of um, like departure board letters. Anyhow, that's also part of the kit. Uh, that one's shipping also the week of April 15th. It is all designed. I just need to write the instructions. Uh, but that one also includes a class where we kind of build it all together. Uh, let me look, let me look, let me look. Um, uh, April, April said if we do a 4th of July, she saw a collection recently that some of her papers were red, yellow, blue, and some of the papers look like bandana print. That would be the brand new Simple Story, Simple Vintage Linen Market. Um, it looks a little bit 4th of July just because it has red and blue in it, but it is not 4th of July at all. Um, I will be teaching with that at an event later this year, so I will not be using that in a project kit, but I have ordered it um, a la carte on the website. All right, those of you that like to travel, uh, okay, hang on. Um, uh, just make sure, make sure our senior adventure said, I love your excitement. Thank you. I, it's not faked. I wish I, well, I shouldn't say I wish I could fake it. Um, I just, it is what it is. I'm excited. Yes, 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 yes. Um, all right. Because I know um, a lot of my customers like to travel. Uh, I travel quite a bit, uh, both for work, for business, and um, personally. And so I also brought in a couple of a la carte items from that same collection I used in the uh, Take a Trip Traveler's Notebook Project Kit. So I brought in the full 12 by 12 uh, collection pack. So it has 12 12 by 12 papers along with that 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I brought in a roll of washi. I thought this was just so cute, kind of the red with the little airplanes. And then also brought in the sticker book. So the Echo Park sticker books include 16 pages. They include two sheets, two sheets each of eight different designs. So you have lots and lots and lots of stickers in that sticker book. Those three things are available a la carte on the website. Last travel thing that we're going to take a look at, friends, is this. Um, this is the fourth project kit. Uh, that is coming to you soon. This is another six by eight album. It is a travel themed mini book project kit. Let's get away. That is all I can show you right now because that is all that I've done. <laughs> There's been a lot of designing happening uh, in the last little bit. So um, this one is shipping the week of the 22nd. Uh, everything else is, well, this is what I'll be working on next week is getting the rest of that design. But this uses the um, really fun and bright and vibrant um, Pack Your Bags collection from Simple Stories. All right. So everything that I showed you. Actually, let me do this uh, so that you don't just hear me talking. You can see me too. Everything that I showed you tonight is on the website now including those four project kits. Um, in the name of the product, sorry about that. In the name of the product, it tells you when they're shipping. So it's, blah. So it's, sorry. <laughs> Always when we do a little flipping, uh, sometimes things get a little crazy. Uh, with those four new project kits, it will tell you in the name of the product on the website uh, when they are shipping. So uh, just to recap very quickly, the May-June Traveler's Notebook project kit is shipping now. So it is in stock. They started shipping today. Uh, the um, Live Life in Color and the Take a Trip. So Live Life in Color mini book project kit and the Take a Trip Traveler's Notebook project kit both start shipping the week of the 15th, which is next week. Uh, and then the Let's Get Away mini book project kit ships the week of April 22nd. Um, the way that that works, if you are ordering something, if you're even ordering one thing on your order that is a pre-order, meaning it is not shipping yet, 
everything on your old order will hold to ship until that ships, okay? So if you've ordered 28 other things and you're really excited to get those 28 other things, um, your order will not ship until all 28 things, meaning like this guy, um, is in stock and ready to go. If you don't want to wait and you're super impatient, uh, I mean, not in a bad way, I get it, I'm just like that, it would be better off to um, have two orders. One for like this, anything that's a pre-order, and then your other order would have everything that is in stock, so they could kind of ship that way. Um, that just makes it easier on our end. So um, that way you only pay one shipping charge, unless you decide to split them, and then that's just the way it has to be. All right, friends, um, let me look at um, the chat really quick. Um, chatting about uh, da, 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 photos. Ooh, my little thing, way around, way around, way around. Um, I know, Deborah, more more, uh, more rainbows, right? Uh, Melanie's excited for travel. Um, somebody said something about the skyline. I know, I loved that, right? And even, I mean, where you're going, it may not have a skyline like that, but you know what? Chances of where you're going having the exact product like the skyline or the pyramids in Egypt or the Grand Canyon or whatever, um, having product where you can find the exact same thing gets a little bit hard. So it's just gonna be super generic. Uh, we'll work for all different kinds of travel, all right? Um, if you are not flying somewhere, you don't have to use the airplane, right? And that would be the same way for uh, the Take a Trip Traveler's Notebook Project Kit as well. Okay, friends. Um, April said, awesome reveal. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Amanda said, are the stylists going to be available for the little icons yet? Yes, Amanda. Um, I ordered them prior to, let's see, prior to the sale. So I ordered them probably six weeks ago. Those are manufactured in China. Um, and I believe they should, what's today, the 10th? Um, I believe they're coming tomorrow or Friday. So um, the best bet, you guys, with anything on my website that shows sold out is to, um, you'll always see a little button if it's sold out that says email me when available. Click that button, put in your email address. That's all automated from there on out. So as soon as inventory for that sold out product comes back in stock, it automatically emails you. So then you know when it's back in stock. But yes, those are um, an evergreen product, meaning it's a product that I will always have because, um, it, yeah, it's just a tool that we use a lot. Super useful tool. Uh, great question, Amanda. Um, Rainy, I hope you're staying healthy. Lay out Rainy. I am-ish. <laughs> I really need to get some exercise, which um, have not been, but I'll get there. I will get there. <laughs> uh, yeah, just too many other things to do. But much better now uh, that Denise, Denise and Lily are the dynamic duo and they have uh, made my life so much better because they have now taken over all fulfillment, all order fulfillment, shipping, packing, picking orders, all of that. So that kind of lifted me out of all that day-to-day -day stuff, which um, makes gives me more time to do the things that only I can do, like the designing and things like that. So um, designing new project kits and stamps and new tools and things like that. So it's been very good. Thank you for asking. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. Don't forget thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, da, 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 da. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I think I think I kind of got everybody. Um, if I flags and frills for July, uh, Mary J, I will look at that. I will for sure look at that. Um, I don't think, and I think I've been doing the um, bi-monthly Traveler's Notebook Project Kits for the last seven years. Seven years times 12 a year. Uh, that's a lot. What is that? 84? A lot of those. I don't think I've ever done a 4th of July. Um, I'm going to say 98%, I believe, or more, um, of my customers that do those bi-monthly kits are from the U.S. So 4th of July, I can do Maybe this year's the year to do it, right? We'll have a fun 4th of July for July. That would be fun. Uh, all right, friends. Uh, that's all. That's all, folks. What do they say? Blah, 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 blah. Something like that. Um, all right. So there you have it. All of the products, like I said, products, project kits available on the website, layallbymail.com now. Uh, go to layallbymail.com, click on the blue bar that says what's new, or click the description, uh, the link in the description box of the video down below. Uh, we are listing this Saturday, which would be the 13th. We're actually listing the next three Saturdays, 13th, 20th, and 27th, and I think into May as well. So I think we're gonna go on a stretch where we're probably like five or six Saturdays in a row. 
So if you normally list with me on a Saturday, we'll be here this Saturday. And lots of lots of giveaways from the anniversary uh, anniversary listing that we did. So loads of giveaways um, coming up to be given away uh, on Saturday as well. Okay, friends, uh, I think we're good. Have a lovely rest of your evening. Have a lovely rest of your week. Um, hopefully you're having nice weather. We're having beautiful weather here in Utah, so I'm hoping to uh, get out and maybe enjoy the weather a little bit. Um, I hope to see you on Saturday. If I don't see you on Saturday, I hope to see you on the interwebs uh, at some point in the future. Thanks for watching, friends. Bye-bye.